Psychologically, 12 steps make sense. They are a cognitive therapeutic intervention um, which are beautifully stepped so that each step flows from one into another. Moving from one step into the next is relatively easy to do. It's not easy doing the 12 steps, um, but from a psychological perspective, they make complete and utter sense. And from a behavioral perspective, complete and utter sense. From a psychotherapeutic perspective, complete sense. The beautiful thing about the 12 steps and the whole AA structure is that there's a spiritual component to it as well. If you go to the first step, I'm not in control of my drinking. So if I'm not in control, something else is. And immediately, as soon as you say that, you're beginning to introduce the concept of spirituality. If it's not me, what is it? AA is not a religion, first and foremost. It's not a dogmatic set of doctrines that you have to believe in. So it's not a religion, it's not a cult, it doesn't, it doesn't um, link itself to any particular form of religion, any denomination, and as a result you can't make it a cult. It's often one or two or three sessions um, later when you've explored all of those concepts and explored the concept of spirituality and the idea that perhaps God, as we understand him, might be something within. AA, I think, um, works whether you've hit rock bottom or not. It's just that for a lot of people, the idea of starting with AA before you've hit rock bottom is a difficult step to take because you have to acknowledge that life is not as good as it could be. And most people, I think, join AA once life has become pretty rotten. There's the, there's the reliance on the power of the ego to carry us through all sorts of difficult situations and we expect that to work because it seems to work for everybody else. And it's a very humbling moment to recognize that I can't do this anymore and all our perceptions of ourselves suddenly get challenged. I, I suspect when you hit rock bottom, you feel completely and utterly alone. And suddenly to realize that you're not alone, that you are one of many and that you are accepted. Oh, I mean, that's what I like about going to an AA group, even though I'm not an alcoholic. I say, hi, I'm Tom, I'm a visitor. Hi, Tom. <gasps> it's a great feeling, you know, and the power of that acceptance is huge. There's the helper component, um, one alcoholic talking to another alcoholic and being listened to. And um, that's something which for me as a health professional, I can't listen in the same way, having not been an alcoholic or a substance dependent person. Um, and I think the experience of being listened to by someone who knows is marvelously therapeutic. There is no payment involved, you know, and you can do it within all sorts of settings. I think that aspect of AA is marvelously important. Pills for schizophrenia, they've transformed the treatment of schizophrenia. If there's a pill that helps with addiction, great. But don't forget to do the psychological work. The warmth and the acceptance, I think, will override some of the fears that you have. And having the courage to pursue some of the AA structures, well, we know it works.